Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dear Rum. I'm back for another quick tip for you guys. If you're using FL Studio Extended Memory, uh, it's a program from FL Studio that you get. Like you get a regular version, I think you can access two gigabytes of RAM, or the extended memory gives you up to four gigabytes of RAM. Now the reason for this is 32-bit applications that run um, can only access up to four gigabytes. That's just, you know, where it's at. That's the threshold. And I know there's a demo beta of FL Studio 64-bit, which you can access basically unlimited RAM. But for some of us who aren't ready to trust the beta 100% yet, I'm gonna wait until the official release. But in the meantime, if you guys are running out of RAM, you know, from your VSTs and your plugins, and um, you know, you're trying to mix everything, you got 20 to 50 tracks of audio, you're gonna need some of that. And I found a way to get some of that back for you guys. So watch this. I loaded up four program or four VSTs of Halion Sonic, and they basically take up no RAM. What's taking up most of this is my contact player. And as you can see, we're already down 1,500 from 4,000. So with one click of a button, we can make sure we get a lot of our headroom back for our RAM. And watch how we do this. You just you head to your VST, click your cog wheel, go to processing and then click bridged. Now watch, it's at 2,500 right now. Now watch what it goes back up to. All right, so now we're back up to 3,300. So that's about 800 megabytes of RAM that we just got back just from bridging one VST. And when you have a bunch of VSTs, usually like I do, I got maybe you know anywhere from five to 12 VSTs at a time. Sometimes I've been forced to record the audio through Edison and then cancel the v the VST. That way I can have the audio that I want and I can add more sounds. Well, with this bridge option, it allows you to basically use a lot more VSTs in your composition. So you're not going to run out of RAM. You don't have to record uh, the audio in a wave and be stuck with it, you know, because let's say on one part you want to take a note out or add a few notes. You can't now because you have the wave file already recorded. You know, you don't have the MIDI data and the piano roll to actually add more or take less. So hope this is a um, tip that'll help you guys. I know it's a lifesaver for me now because now I can actually get more mixing done, loading up, you know, compressors, EQs, you know, buses, sends, delays, effects, blah, blah, blah. So I hope this tip helped. Thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to check out my new beats on jrmusic.com. Take care, guys. Peace.